Today I'm going to directly compare the absolute compute performance of a top spec silicon graphics Tesro with a top spec Octane 2. On the left hand screen I'm running a Tesro equipped with four R16Ks running at 1 GHz and on the right hand screen I'm running an Octane 2 which is fitted with two R14Ks running at 600 MHz. Both machines are fitted with V12 graphics however the screens do look a little bit different and that's because I'm running the Octane 2 with an analog output as it only has a 13W3 connector on the output of the V12 and on the Tesro side I'm running it through a DVI output. As far as the blender setup on both machines go the version of blender that I'm running is version 2.45 and the scene that I'm going to be rendering simultaneously on both machines is test.blend. As far as the setup on the Octane 2 goes, it's rendering with four threads as the machine has two CPUs and it can render with two threads per CPU and on the Tesro side I'm rendering with eight threads. Let's start the rendering process. And from the onset you can see that the Tesro is pulling ahead. Once the Tesro has completed rendering the scene, I'm going to speed the video up in order to save some time and then I'll return towards the end of the Octane's rendering process. The nice thing about Blender is it allows you to directly compare the absolute performance of these machines as every ounce of the machine's processing power is being used. Okay, and the Tesro just rendered that scene in 1 minute and 8 seconds. And as you can see, the Octane 2 still has quite a way to go, so I'm going to speed the video up from here in order to save some time. And we're down to the last four blocks, so the scene is almost done. Okay, and the Octane just rendered the scene in 3 minutes and 40 seconds. So if you compare that to the Tesro, the Tesro rendered the scene in 1 minute and 8 seconds. So from this you can see that the top spec Tesro is significantly more powerful than the top spec Octane 2. However, after running these two machines for a while, they both have their strong and weak points. The Octane 2 is a really cool machine as it boots really quickly, whereas the Tesro takes a rather lengthy time to boot. So when you look at it from that point of view, it's actually sometimes more convenient to make use of the Octane than the Tesro. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it informative and thanks for watching.